CBS 2 News at 5 and 11. Stories that connect us all. Tonight, winter wallop. Several states declare emergencies as a massive storm sweeps east, impacting tens of millions of Americans. Advisories and alerts stretch from Kansas to the East Coast. The biggest threats? Deep snow, dangerous ice, and a deep freeze. Also tonight, a massive undersea earthquake prompts tsunami warnings across the Pacific and along the West Coast. Plus, deja vu for Novak Djokovic. The unvaccinated tennis star is detained again in Australia and could be deported. COVID's latest surge, hospitalizations nationwide at record levels, and deaths are also rising. I'm Michael George in New York. The race is on to produce enough tests and masks to meet demand as students storm out to protest in-person classes. In Los Angeles, thieves target trains, the latest threat to the supply chain. I'm Lilia Luciano in Los Angeles, where shortages and shipping snarls mean higher prices and some empty shelves. And later, as the pandemic persists, schools head outdoors. <laughs> this is the CBS Weekend News. Good evening, I'm Ben Tracy in New York. Adriana Diaz is off. Tonight, a major winter storm is bearing down on millions of Americans in the south and northeastern parts of the country. The sprawling system already hit the Midwest, where it dumped a lot of snow. Straight ahead in the CBS Weekend News, scientists sound the alarm as Florida's manatees are dying in record numbers. Weekend Journal, recycling on the farm. Old grain bins become a weekend getaway. And later, how some schools are embracing outdoor education to keep kids learning. Manatees are one of the most beloved sea creatures in Florida. Four years ago, they were taken off the endangered species list, but now they're dying in record numbers. We spent some time with the people desperately trying to save them. And if we can clean up that polluted water, the manatees will have a much better chance. Still ahead on the CBS Weekend News, a unique getaway down on the farm. Minnesota is known as the land of 10,000 lakes, but it's also home to about 70,000 farms. In tonight's Weekend Journal, John Lauritsen of WCCO, that's our station in Minneapolis, takes us to a unique rural retreat. We're... And as a Minnesota native, I agree, the people there are awesome. Next on the CBS Weekend News, a different kind of remote learning. Finally tonight, the pandemic has many parents and school districts still struggling with remote versus in-person learning, but some schools are finding a compromise in the great outdoors. Here's CBS's Mark Strasberg. Right, Looks like fun to me. That's the CBS Weekend News for this Saturday. Don't forget Sunday morning with Jane Pauley, first thing tomorrow, followed by Face the Nation with Margaret Brennan. I'm Ben Tracy in New York. Have a great night.